I am really excited to be in this place. It's in the northwest of Victoria, far northwest, right on the longest river in Australia, the Murray. It's got plenty of grapevines, lots of horticultural produce, lots of orange trees, which are my favourite, lots of red, beautiful soil and lots of sun. It is, of course, Mildura. And in that building there, I was born many, many years ago. And what a lovely childhood I had, being brought up here, coming back for holidays, always lovely. I want to show you all about it. It started with my grandpa, Charles Crofts, who was a soldier in the First World War, went off very young, came back to Mildura as a soldier settler. And he cleared his block in Red Cliffs, just outside of Mildura, and he planted lots of fruit trees, in particular oranges and grapes. He had drying racks for the currants and the raisins, and he had four girls and one boy and his family, they were all resilient farmers. They all grew lots of things, they helped on the farm, they picked the fruit, they packed the fruit, and they even dried the apricots. And since then, all of the family have really loved being in the garden. I think that's probably where I get the whole gardening thing from. My mum married Peter Edmondson, and hence I was born. And this tree, or these trees along here, are pretty significant because the soldier settlers, including my grandpa Charles, they planted a lot of these palm trees all around the city of Mildura. They line them as avenues and they're getting very old now, but boy, it's a significant statement for Mildura. This is such a blast from the past. As a sideline to mum and dad's citrus farm, they wanted people to know how citrus and avocados were grown. And so Dad set up Orange World. He'd have a little train that took people around and he'd tell them, he and my brothers would tell them how oranges were grown and how they were packed and how they were picked and how they were cleaned and sent to market. This is the very tractor that Dad had built to take tourists around the orange farm. He would, and my brothers too, would drive the tractor and I would drive the tractor and take the tour if I was up here on a holiday. Beautiful orange from Sunraysia, the rays of the sun. Isn't this an amazing sight for Mildura? We're in a salt mine and it's fantastic because that blanket of salt there, all crystalline, and the mountains of salt over there are part of the Murray River pink salt. You probably use pink salt in your own kitchen. And this is where it comes from, from an aquifer way under the ground. It's a very, very ancient aquifer and it fills up an enormous space here. And I was brought up and had a lot of my childhood years just a stone's throw from here. This is a fairly recent process since the early 2000s, but back in the early 1970s when we were growing up as kids on the farm, mum and dad realised that instead of putting water back into the Murray River once the trees had used it, it's better to bring it back out here into the wastelands and let it evaporate like that. And because of the impervious clay pan that it was sitting on, none of that salt went back into the Murray River. It was an early interception scheme and it's worked really well because now it's a wetland and you see fantastic bird life out here. This is another pond in the salt mining factory and you can see that it's a little bit pink. It's beautiful. I'll explain why in a minute. But as the weather warms up and it's nice and dry, you get salt crusting around the edge. You can see the crystalline salt all the way around the edge of that water. And look at that beautiful reflection. It is really remarkable. But why is it pink? It's algae bloom. It's part of the salt making process. Nothing harmful, but doesn't it look pretty? Isn't this amazing? It's like an iceberg, but it's actually a saltberg. It's extraordinary. This is one of my favourite places in the Australian Inland Botanic Gardens out at Mokwong. It's only five kilometres from Mildura and lots of tourists come here. But I like to come here because it's a very special and happy memory because these seats were donated by my mum and dad. There's a little plaque to them. And they were the early beginning contributors to the Inland Botanic Gardens. It's all run by volunteers. It's a fabulous organisation. And guess what? That's mum and dad's farm where they farmed for many, many years, 30 years and that's it just over there, in amongst this beautiful setting of Mallee scrub, lovely Mallee trees and these beautiful Murray pines. It's a very special place for me because I come and I sit and I think, how good were my mum and dad? They really taught us a lot about how to grow trees, beautiful fruit trees and lovely gardens. And I guess that's where my garden spirit came from.